Today's scripture that I'm going to start out with is in 2 Nephi chapter 9. And the entire chapter is remarkable. It goes into considerable detail about the atonement, about our own lives, what we're supposed to do while we're on earth, and how Christ can help us through our time on earth. The verse that I want to read has to do with that last thing that I mentioned, how we use our time on earth. And it's a really simple snippet. It's not even an entire verse. It's just part of a verse. It says, Woe unto him that wasteth the days of his probation, for awful is his state. That verse really hit me. In our day and age, where we have ample free time, more free time perhaps than anyone ever has in the history of the earth because of technological advances and productivity advancements. We've got a lot of free time. Even the busiest of us have more free time than people did a hundred years ago when they had to work almost day and night in their fields just to have enough food for their families. And because of that, humans have come up with diverse ways to occupy that extra time. And some of those things are good, and some of those things are not so good that fall into this category of waste the days of your probation. One of the things that's biggest, I feel, is video games. Video games are a waste. I'll just come out and say it. That's not to say that they're all bad. That's not to say that playing video games every so often is some awful thing. But more often than not, video games etch out a large part of a lot of people's lives. And it's a waste. It doesn't do anything that's good or valuable or beneficial beyond providing flimsy entertainment value. Now, I'm not trying to talk down to anyone here. It's important for me to admit that once upon a time, I was addicted to a video game in college. I would literally go to my classes, get my homework done, go to the gym, and when all that was done, I would be playing a video game. Literally hours and hours most days. And I'm ashamed of that. I'm sad about that, that I've literally wasted weeks and months of my life if I were to push all those hours together. I've wasted so much time on a video game, and it kind of haunts me to think how I could be a better person now. Had I spent that time doing a lot of other things, there were so many other things I could have been and should have been doing, but instead I chose to waste the days of my probation. Um, it's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine when in talks in church, people pull out Webster's Dictionary, right? Uh, they're given a talk about a given topic, and the first thing they talk about is how it's defined. But I'm going to do that because I think it's important and valuable here. In Webster's Dictionary, under the entry for probation, it says the process or period of testing or observing the character or abilities of a person in a certain role. That's what we're down here to do. Heavenly Father has given us this time on earth to test us and observe us. And the most poignant part of this definition, I think, is that ending part where it talks about how we're tested in regard to our role. Testing or observing the character or abilities of a person in a certain role. So the key, really, to not wasting our time while here on earth, the key is figuring out what our certain role is. Because if we understand that, if we understand our identity, what we're supposed to be doing personally, individually, we're going to have a much easier time not wasting our time and being productive. For some of us, our identity is to be a teacher. Some of us, our identity is to be a father. For some of us, our identity is to be a friend. And frankly, all of us are going to wear those hats in a single day. I am a father, and I'm an employee, and I hope to be a friend. And I'm being tested in those roles. And if all I do is sit on my butt and play a video game, I'm not proving myself effective in any of those roles. So the challenge is to figure out who we are and then be our best self in those categories. 
the power of this verse is underscored when we take into account the fact that the Book of Mormon was put together, was written, was compiled for us in our day. The Book of Mormon writers talk about that. Prophets that lived hundreds of years ago, they literally saw our day. They saw the opportunities we would have, they saw the challenges that we would have, and they handpicked verses and stories that would educate us to help us in those regards, the challenges that we would face and the opportunities that we would have. So I really feel that that verse was handpicked for, among other things, teach us about video games and to not waste our time on them. And a lot of other ways we can waste our time, I get that. But I really, I really probably think Moroni and Mormon, the guys that compiled the Book of Mormon, they saw video games. They saw people parked on their butts for hours pushing buttons, and they included that burst. Don't waste the days of your probation. Mormon, chapter 8, verse 35. Behold, I speak unto you as if ye were present, and yet ye are not. But behold, Jesus Christ hath shown you unto me, and I know your doing. That's in the Book of Mormon, within the Book of Mormon, but it's actually Moroni speaking. He knew what we were going to go through, and he wanted to educate us a little bit. And so he made sure to include the book and story of Nephi. And Nephi tells us, don't waste the days of your probation. Otherwise, awful will be your state. Ultimately, what it comes down to is all we have is time and agency. The ability to choose how we're going to use our time. Everything else God's given us through his grace, through his mercy, your possessions, your money, all that. He's given it freely. We choose how we're going to use those things and occupy our time. And I hope that I will choose to not let hours and hours be spent anymore on video games. Am I still going to play video games? Yeah. It's not a terrible thing to play and relax with a video game here and there. But I'm not going to do it for hours on end anymore. And I'm not going to play video games every day anymore. Because I want to prove my character and my abilities in my role as a father and as a husband and as an employee and as a friend and as an executive secretary in my ward and many other roles. I want to do a good job of those things. And part of that is not wasting my time with video games because that is a waste of my probation. Hope you enjoyed this entry. Great verses from the Book of Mormon that teach us how to live better lives and ultimately how to live more fulfilling lives. That's what God wants for us. That's what these prophets wanted for us. They just want us to have happy lives. That's why they included that verse. It's for us so that we can be better and feel better, not so that we can please deities and so that we can be happy. Have a great day.